Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farms. Here we are in January, it is a new year. We took some time off, did, first of all did some few contracts before winter property hits. And then we spent the Christmas period over with family and that in the West Country. And yeah, so we're back here. Just after New Year, so we've got some work to do. We did do some contracts, so that's why the money's gone up slightly. Did some cord harvesting contracts, that was a bit iffy dealing with those. We did one con contract, but most of them were cultivating and plan contracts. I may include some clips now. If I haven't, then I must have forgotten to do it in editing. But yeah, if we go over to our finances and we go down to December, like November, December, 46 grand in bales, harvest income in November, 14 grand, and contracts com contract income, 59 grand overall in November, and then just 13 grand in. December. So right, that's done. So what do we need to do? Really, it's not much to do because we have a look at the crop calendar. Nothing can be planted. There's harvesting still on grass and that. That could be done all year round. So, but we're getting new contracts for those coming up at the moment. There's cotton that could be planted in January, in February. But, so let's go and have a look at the cattle here because, oh, that is nice. So we've got some things in here. We've got a combine harvester, the class triant, 5250, 7550. And that is the basic version. And if we go all the way up to the 750, we can. So let's go and have a look over here. 5250. So that can have that header there. Obviously that requires X amount of force power. Right? Well, as long as it's like 367, as long as it's a like 7 series engine, then it should be fine. So, you know what? We're going to do that. We'll put our order in this now. You know what? I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to go with the biggest header we can. And this, this is a cedar. It is slightly discounted, not much, but it's discounted enough. Six months old, 12 meters work width. And that is actually good for us. That, that folds up straight so it could go down the road fine. Lanes might be a bit difficult being 12 meters length, but I think overall that actually is going to be alright for us. So, you know what? We just spent all of our money on a couple of pieces of equipment. We need to focus on that now because we need to do the silage because that is ready. That is fully fermented. So open this. 
I uh, would have done it sooner, but with snow and that, before we went away, it was just, it wasn't settling, but there wasn't too much moisture in the silage and that. It's been covered up. So now, we need to go to the dealership and borrow their wheel loader. So, open this. Uh, yeah, let's hop into the landing here. Because yeah, we need to head to the dealership. There we go. Is that that one? Nah, it doesn't have a high beam, it doesn't. I thought it would off. But yeah, we need to go to the dealership. And pick up the Volvo wheel loader. I'm going to inquire, see if we can work for a couple of hours. I'm not sure how much is going to be in that, so. Who knows? Oop. Going the wrong way. There we go, let's make sure we're clear. So, yeah. We'll head to the dealership, have the inquiry, and then we'll go from there. And there we go, so £500 has to be sent to the dealership. We've gone and the Savalvo wheel loader. But, man. First of all, that is ooh, a bit bigger than I expected. Still gonna need the hair for the cowboy. That's gonna be 63 grand plus the header trader, which is an additional seven grand. And if there's any modified headers for us, no, just all the deer stuff. Corn headers. So we look, maybe look something like a uh, nine meter corn header. And for that, that's twelve grand. So I was even thought about getting our own farm in that, which we will. Get our own farm plot down. First of all, we do. Oh, there it is. There. So we've got the keys for it. Um, start it up. Turn the lights on. Man, just having a look in the interior. It is rather spacious. All sorts of buttons and that. This should actually hope for hopefully it fits at the gate. Oh it's good. Oh my not worker there. Move out of the way. Come on, move out of the way. There we go. But yeah, so the terms of this season is till Five o'clock at so the end of the day, hour before closing. Basically, we've got to cover any fuel or wear and tear in that, so we shouldn't be damage it too much. And I doubt we're going to have it for more than a couple of hours, like two hours perhaps. So the reason I got this is because of this bucket here. It's a 10,000 year bucket, and uh, this is going to be useful for us. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, one of these collectibles. I heard they're very popular, like old wooden toys. Very well done, so you know what? Ooh, one ground for those, so. I mean, is there more over here? Let's be a bit creepy here a sec. Have a little look around. Find any more of these snowmen. Heard they could be fine. I heard like rumors about them being fine sort of everywhere and that. 
Also, I shouldn't be sleeping in people's gardens too much. No, nothing in there. Yeah, I'll definitely keep an eye out for those. Well, there we go. But yeah, let's get us back to Ooh, all that traffic there. Sorry. But yeah, we'll get us we'll get us back to our land farm. I should know we will do that first of all before the actual yard or our side is, because we need to remove Sunday stones, so let me grab one of the classes and a trader. And we'll deal with one of those stones. And there we go, 650 is here with the class trader. We did also spend £500 in parts to actually fit the beacons on this. So when we acquired this from the old owner, it had no beacons whatsoever. Now what we're doing, we're going to be using the roads. Beacons are essential for safety, and not just for ourselves, but for the members of the public, especially in poor lighting conditions, heavy weather. But yeah, we'll get all of this in one bucket easily. There we go. See, so yeah, that is 5,000 litres of rocks. go to sell every container or the debris crusher. Uh, where is debris crusher? Oh, at the BGA, so not too bad, so let's head over there. And then we'll return and deal with the signage. So that didn't take too long. 770 quid for that, so yeah, it wasn't worth it, but it helps with protecting the wear on the equipment, so at the end of the day, that's all that really matters really, I think. There we go. Wow, only if we had this, this would be awesome to have. A bit overkill, yes. Definitely is, but is overkill that it makes light work or things like this? Like, rather than have that leveled around what we had or what we were using, we could just use this and level it out. It's heavy enough to flatten it all, so why not? And uh, this is going to take four and a bit loads to do. And the best price at the moment, unfortunately, is not the Vive View stores. It is the sell everything container, so. It's one of those things I was like, well, if it was just literally the Vive View stores around the corner from here, I literally out here and do a 180. I don't know, just go straight up there, do that. Then that would be awesome, but no. If it's like the Garden Center or the Town Store Bells, so. Guard Center is what's flashing on the top right corner of the screen, and the Town Store Bells is literally down the road. Actually, I may. It's only a £3 difference, £3 less at the 
moment. Or do we gamble and see if the prices increase? Just what is until the end of the day? Right, so 580, 583. One o'clock, five eighty, five eighty four. So that shit is going up at the garden center. So you know what? That's what we're going to do. Yeah, five eighty four, five eighty for town store bells. On average, it's better than what. It's forecasted, so that's a plus there. There we go, 43,000 litres. Turn it off. So, yeah, let's go and get this salt. So, we'll go left out of here, up and round, and to the garden center. This is the 8.50. Last thing was like farm that situation. It was a good farm over here, the home farm. Could go that now. Or so at some point I want this one and the court farm. Country park farm. But you know, so is there any contracts that's popped up? No. I'll say some more contract work over the winter, but uh, it's one of those things that's always guaranteed. So yeah, we will sell all this. We'll do a little timeout to get this all sold, and then we'll see where we stand afterwards. Boy, we've got ourselves in a bit of a situation here. That is oh, sketchy as hell. The cloths, if I detach that, that is fine, that can go back on. But we'll end up losing the load in this trailer. I do not want to lose it. So we've got the Volvo here, so as we try. Cover this. Let's get rid of the map. Nope, no, 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 no. I think it's fine on either end, both halves, but together. Because, yeah, only have a way of like, covering this with a rope or something, but. I'm going to try first of all, just bump this back up. There we go, so that's it. There we go. I 
think that's up but not out. Ah, that's for maybe try to do. Thing, but surely something must be damaged in there because like, the tractor was literally hanging off the trailer, dangling down. Oh, I don't know. But anywho, I'm back to schedule or retro schedule programming. Time lapse was a bit abrupt there. I was hoping to get this done, get the last load before finishing the time lapse, but so we should get what we got like 25, 27 grand last time. If we look at prices at the moment, silage 584 is still the best here, so I think actually one on this way. Well, at one point, at one place it hit 590, so that was in December. Last thing, it's just on average price, it's at its peak now, so who knows what it may be. So, anyways, the sell is that load, and then get everything back to the farm, and then we'll actually, you know, not that so, get this load done, and then we'll get the last few loads done. I think we've got two more trips to do here. So, yeah, up here. And we'll sell this now, so... Oh no, wrong area. Got to go over here. Sell signage. There we go. So yeah, we'll see how much we'll get. And this is our first money coming in. That's from our own stuff, from our own Rob, in essence, 24 and a half grand, so it's good, but can always do better. That's why we've got fill grass in now rather than meadow grass, so get a bit more yieldage out of it. But, anyways, I will get this all done and we'll jump cut to when we're on the last load. And there we go, as quickly as they came, it is now gone, so, I bet. But yeah, so that is 91 grand we've earned, 91 grand, give or take a couple of hundred quid. At slightly, so, not for our first, pretty much free crop, 
it comes out in the end. As soon as we do the next cut in March, that is pure profit for us. So, quickly get this dropped off before they shut. One of these shut early in the winter, I don't know. Past whole four o'clock. So, you know what? I'm dropping this back now. So, let's go and park this as where we found it. Well, actually, we didn't he paint uh, uh, spray this, didn't we, or anything like that. So, you know what? Let's quick get this service. So, let's get this up the ramp. There we go. Some minor hydraulics. There we go. So how much is it going to be to get this repaired? Alright, so that is repaired now. So we need to give the dealership money on that. So go to here, dealership. It was like two something, so you know what? I'll just give him 300. Did it work ourselves, so. But yeah, 270, even though the leasing was, what, 500 quid? In fairness, to be fair. Wait a minute. What's up there? That's another collectible. The fairness, our practice caps straight we put on this. When we was recovering the cloth, and that's just covered the re rental and repairs. Actually, is there any more out here? Get the drone out. Can't see more on the roofs. Can't see nothing. Nope. Fair enough. So, it's somewhere over here, was it? Let's put it in this double bay right here. There we go. And with that done, I think what we'll do now is get some rest in that. Head back to the farm with the dandy and we'll come back tomorrow and pick some of this up or perhaps we'll at least a trader or at least that, the truck and trader but we will see alrighty then so it is the second week of January We've got Doys back on this because we have a look. We've got the lever back on because we need to clear our something so we had a big sofa overnight. That's still going to be sitting for a few more hours so we need to start clearing up some of this stone. Not of stone, snow. <laughs> uh, just to just clear away. Roads look alright. At the moment, actually, out of interest, how much would it be? Things for like this, or actually, a proper snow plow. A couple of grand. Salt spreader. That's an option for us, but first of all, we've just got to see. How long this will take? There we go. Let's go through all this snow here. Actually, what's going on here? We're having weird hydraulic issues here. By the looks of it. So, if we go up. Look at so that's up and down, that's tilting it. Oh, 
Oh no, a cute door's close. And I said so it doesn't. That hydraulic issue is a pain, so you know what? Let's go and lease some of this equipment. There we go. And you know what? We will pick this up. So, yeah, let's get it. You know what? We'll take this with us and sell it. Let's go if you ever need it. Alright, then, so we've got the plow and salt spreader and also we've gone and paid to have the planter which actually I did not realize it was a planter I was adamant it was a cedar but I guess not so but anyways we'll deal with that later on we'll always do it for the planter at some point but I thought that was like a cedar and that but my bad anywho There we go. So in theory this should work, so So we send that. There we go, just want to clear up the yard a bit. Actually, we really should actually close this shop there. snow back so yep we will finish this off and then we'll get the combine over and everything else and then I think that's where we will leave it for today
that is the salt in almost done. We go inside the salt this field here because we don't want the grass to freeze. We want to make sure they still keep on growing so salt melts snow and any ice there is. And that just helps with just preventing them from freezing and not disturbing their growth. There we go. And that is done. I think what we will go and head and return these. So you manage to get everything over here. A few lumps and bumps here. It looks like the council already, or the local authority, managed to get rid of snow on the roads or tr local traffic, push snow away. But yeah, we had to do it on our bit of land here. Yeah, there's still a bit of snow here and there, little patches. But besides from that, it's actually not too bad. Excuse. There we go. Oh no, that doesn't need repairing, that's good. But yeah, we've got the planter over here, that's taking up a bit of space. And next we need to put this back in. Shut that up. Yes, yeah, so we have a tight space here with the duties. Can we get around? Oops. Nope, we'll have to take the duties off. Get a spanner out. There we go. That's going to be a lot easier. So the combine is in here. That was a bit of a hay faff as well getting in. But yeah, just want a lot of our equipment just kept in storage over here. Shut it up. So yeah, that will keep everything nice in here. That's a heat workshop. These don't really need it, really, so... But anyways, that's where I think I'm going to leave it. I think next time will be in spring. Hopefully get more stuff popping up in the used market. Ooh, well, ideal power level. That would have been good if that popped up before the class. Got Side King. We will do cows, but... And that is a, another planter. Nope, Rory got one, thank you very much. But yeah, so hopefully, I think if you try to go to the bank in spring, try to get a loan out, because I want to get a, a, a farming place, or at least money enough to get equipment in that, but it's going to be difficult, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. I'll watch your fingers, I'll quickly look for some more collectibles, see if there's any around. from what I can see. But yeah, there's collectibles. If you find them about, we'll go and grab them. But yeah, so anyways, that's what I'm going to leave today. As always, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to come down below. If you're sure, so please be my guest. If you're not subscribed channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer, Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.